Okay, in the pot I have two gallons of water. I place beef hooves and feet or ankles and we will let this cook for about two hours and then we'll add the tripe or the panza. Now if you want to use pork hooves you're more than welcome to. I don't like it because it uh, has lots of little bones that separate and and also we use corn or hominy in this northern Mexican menudo that we're going to be cooking. Um, if you go further south uh, they don't use any corn at all and other regions they they call it pozole but I grew up calling it menudo. Okay, I have two medium-sized yellow onions. I have four ancho chilies, two New Mexico, and four guajillo, head of garlic, and we have some puya, four of them. Alright, so I've used some of the stock as liquid for grinding the chili and we've added the, uh, the onion and the garlic, minced them, and we're ready to chop the meat. Alright, I have two packages of stomach. This is the second and you basically just want to cut it in even bite-sized pieces. Okay, here's the finished product. We have some red menudo with some hominy for garnish. We have some lime. We have cilantro and onion mix. Some crushed red pepper if you want it a little spicier. And we have some corn tortillas. Have you had is it good? Mmm. Uh -huh. You like it, Lydia? Mm hmm. Mmm. Is it good, Joshua? Yes. Uh, Mom? Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's really good. This is his second bowl of menudo. <coughs> yep, it's really good. Except you could just need a little bit of salt.